In a recent update to RuneLite, there was a lot of really useful options that were added to some of the existing plugins. So I just wanted to make a short video going over some of these things because I personally find a lot of these new features to be incredibly helpful. So one of the first changes I'm going to show off is in the menu entry swapper plugin. Under the NPC swaps, we have the customizable left click now. So in the past, you know, you click on the guy and if you wanted to pickpocket a man, you'd have to right click and then just continuously go pickpocket and drag it down like that. And for some other NPCs like RD Knights, if you wanted to pickpocket them instead of right clicking them, you could always just go to your attack options and set these to always right click or hidden. And then now you'd have the left click option for pickpocketing them. But as for other NPCs like ones in Priftiness or ones in Darkmare or with just normal men, once you hide your attack options, the left click will become the talk to the NPC. Now, when you're not doing a quest, you don't really want to talk to NPCs because they don't really have much to say. So you can turn on the customizable left click. And with that on now, when you hold shift and then right click any NPC, you can swap around the options for left clicking the NPC or for shift clicking them. So for example, if I wanted my left click option to be pickpocket, I would hold shift, right click, go to swap pickpocket man, and you'll see the left click option is now to pickpocket him. This can also be used on the elves in Priftiness when trying to get a bunch of crystal shards, or you can even do the same thing in Darkmare if you're trying to pickpocket to get your blood shards. And this does work at blackjacking as well. If we set the pickpocket to be the left click option, and then we just need to right click, knock out, and then we can just left click them a couple times, knock them out again. It's a little bit easier. It's a little bit easier than having to right click constantly. Now, another part of the customizable left click feature is that it'll let you swap the left click option for certain NPCs to walk here. So if I, for some reason, did not want to click on that man ever, I could hold shift, right click, swap left click to walk here man. And then now, as you can see, I am left clicking and not able to click on this man at all. This can be useful for certain things if you want to just ignore this NPC. Um, you can still click through them to interact with things behind them, for example. Um, I can click through this guy to still interact with Hans or there's that man over there and if I line them up I can still click on that man through this guy. A place that I found this feature really useful is the God Wars dungeon. For example if I'm going to kill General Grador and I need to kill a bunch of goblins to get my Bandos Casey up but I'm worried about accidentally clicking on the vampires or maybe the blood velds and the Gorax. I can just click on each of these guys swap to walk here. And then now, whenever I hover over these guys, you can see there's no attack options. But for the goblins and the rest of the Bandos minions, I can still left click on them freely. And it'll just prevent me from misclicking on some of the Zamorak minions here instead. Now it also lets you change the shift click option to walk here. But I don't really see the point in that when we have an entire new option of shift click walk here. Now what this does is once you hold shift, it will ignore every single NPC. So before, you can see I talk to this guy, I can attack these men, I can talk to Hans, attack the woman. If I hold shift, nothing. I cannot click on any NPCs. Now this can be really nice for just avoiding clicking on NPCs when you're running through, for example, again, the God Wars dungeon. If I want to just run to the door and not have to worry about clicking on any of these little minions. Or for flinching bosses like the Cow Fight Queen, you can just hold shift to keep walking underneath the boss and not have to worry about right clicking and finding that walk here option anymore. Now the next feature I want to show off is something that players have been asking for for a long time, or they've just been using other clients to get, is the ability to remove NPC options on dead NPCs. So for example, if I kill one of these men here, I will still have the ability to attack them even though they're dead. If I hover over their dying corpse, like right now, there's still the attack options, even though the NPC was dead. And here we go, same thing again. It's still letting me right click on his body as he's dying. But back in the menu, entry swapper and the NPC swaps, if we scroll down, we can find the remove dead NPC menus. So if I click on that and I kill another man, you'll see as soon as he dies, there's no more options for me to left click. So just to show again, I'll keep clicking on this guy. As soon as he dies, it lets me click through him. And I won't be right clicking on him anymore, even though he's already dead. Another way to do this that I'm sure a lot of players would prefer using is in the Entity Hider plugin this time. If we turn on Hide Dead NPCs, as soon as the NPC dies, their body will disappear. And there you go. Just vanished. 
One of the places I love using this plugin is in the gauntlet, since time management is very important, not having to wait for the NPCs to disappear before I can pick up the loot means I'll be able to cook a few more food when I'm down to the last few seconds. And just to show the other option, once I kill this dragon, it'll just disappear along with the left click options this time, although ignore the outline that's still showing up for some reason. Players that are much more skilled than I am who speedrun the Inferno, or just do it normally, have been using this plugin for a while now, especially to help with the nibblers. Since they usually stack up on top of each other, it's always been a pain to try and click on the ones at the bottom of the stack that are still alive. Or at the Theater of Blood in the Nilo room, there can be a lot of these little buggers running around in the room all at once, so it helps to prevent clicking on the ones that are already dead when trying to clear them off the pillars. Now the last feature I want to mention is part of the menu entry swapper, but I'm not exactly sure where you turn it on or turn it off i tried going through this thing a couple times and i just can't find it so it might just be on by default but we can now change the left click and shift click options for worn items as i'm sure most runelite users know you've been able to customize the left click and shift click options for items in your inventory for quite a long time now so for example instead of wearing the construction cape i can configure the left click to can tell it to poh and then boom as soon as i left click on my construction cape it'll teleport me to my house you can now do the same thing with the worn equipment page. So if I just hold shift and right click on the game's necklace, I can swap the left click or the shift click to whatever I want. So let's say the left click takes me to Berthorpe and then the shift click takes me to Barbarian Outpost. So as soon as I go to the worn equipment's page, if I left click on my game's necklace, it will take me to Berthorpe. And if I hold shift and click on the game's necklace, it will take me to the Barbarian Outpost. One of the examples that I thought a lot of low level accounts could benefit with with this option is to swap the settings with the Slayer Ring since the Slayer Ring can teleport you out of a level 30 wilderness but it's not just a simple one click option because you have to hit teleport and then choose your option here so we just hold shift right click on this guy set the left click option to teleport and so now if I was an Iron Man in the wilderness and didn't have access to any Dragonstone jewelry or didn't have Monkey Man that's too completed and I wanted to teleport out of level 30 wilderness I could just do this nice and easy Pretty quick, it's pretty quick. It's a lot quicker than having to right click on the ring and choose teleport. But the reason why this is personally one of my favorite changes that they made recently is to make the max cape a lot easier to use. I find it very annoying that the max cape does not have a left click teleport option. And even if you equip it, you have to go to your worn equipment and then right click and choose whatever teleport you want. Maybe even then you have to go through another dialogue thing. But with this addition to the menu entry swapper plugin, I can just swap my left click to the Kraken Guild, swap my shift click to tell you to POH. And then now whenever I want to teleport to the Kraken Guild, it's as simple as that. And if I want to teleport to the, my house, it's as simple as that. Which I'm sure anyone that has a max cape knows is going to be very, very helpful. And then come back here, come back here, come back here. Ninja Implane gives me a hard clue. No, it doesn't. Anyways, you can do this with other capes as well, like the Arty Cloak, you can use that. Maybe you want to teleport to the farm as your left click option. Here you go on the Arty Farms. Then you can set the Xerix Talisman left click to be the Glade if you're doing a farm run. Just easy quick teleports around. And it's not only for teleport items, if there's anything else, like maybe the Blisterwood Flail. If you want to make the left click option to that to be Bloom. And there you go, you can now easily hit Bloom without having to have the thing in your inventory. What's this guy doing? Fine, my mushrooms. I think that just about covers the new features I wanted to point out. Uh, one last thing might be that you can now freely move around the inventory and the chat box, but I don't really see myself personally ever doing that. Obviously, being able to hide dead NPCs is going to be very beneficial in most PBM activities, but the other new features will probably have a lot of niche uses as well. So let me know in the comments if you can think of any other ways the new plugin options could help players out. Thanks for watching. Hope this video helped some of you. And I'm going now. Go to swap pickpocket man. And then now I killed him.